That's exactly last night. Yeah, so I'll have to give you a light now. All right, so I just want to talk a little bit about the nights, if you don't mind. Um, so I'm from New York, not that I'm new here, here but um, you know, you guys have turned this town, this desert town, into a hockey town. What does that mean for programs like UNLV? I think it's huge. Uh, you know, talking with the people that have been living here for a long time, they didn't know much about hockey, but now they all got that hockey fever. Um, you know, talking to people that work here, like the uh, art store over here. Um, when I walk in there, it's, it's packed with little kids. Um, they want to pick up hockey. At a very young age, uh, they can barely walk. You see them in there, like, you know, looking at sticks and stuff. So it's nice to see that stuff. I kind of went through that kind of stuff in Anaheim. Um, hockey was obviously a bit more developed. Um, I still spend my summers out there, and it's a hockey hub right now. Um, so I think with our success and with the interest in hockey now, I think uh, very soon we're going to see a lot of players coming out of it. You know, when we have the WNBA coming, soccer is here, the Raiders are coming, that's the big billboards all around town. What is your, what is your blueprint that the, the Golden Knights have laid? What does that mean for those teams coming in? Uh, just come in open-minded. Um, the city will welcome you with open arms. Nothing but positive things. And if you work hard um, every night, um, people are going to love you. It's an unbelievable environment to be in, to play in, to live in. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said before, the city welcomes you with open arms. The rink got a reputation really quick as being the loudest, the best rink in the league. And you can just tell like, the people are passionate and uh, you got to enjoy it every day. Because you can't take it for granted. It's very special. And my final question is going to be, how do you explain, you guys just aren't here, you're good, and you're like first place good, how do you explain that? You're the best expansion team in all of sports. Yeah, uh, I mean a lot of people ask me that question, and uh, I don't know, it's chemistry. Um, we didn't have, or like the guys didn't really know each other from before, um, we had no choice but to get to know each other pretty quickly and get along. And you know, we built that chemistry pretty quickly. We got tossed into the situation where, like, lots of unknowns, we didn't really know what was going on. So, you know, being in the same boat, um, you can always rely on the other guy, ask him questions, and that's how we gel together as a group pretty quickly. And uh, it's a pretty tight group. I think that's a big part of being successful as a team. Um, everyone is great for each other, and I think that's why we're here. And you do stuff out off the ice, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, early on in the season, you go, you know, you make that extra effort to go for dinners or have people over and have a barbecue just to kind of get to know the players, the families, everyone involved. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we're just a big family. Sono Daniela McCarty and Louis si chiama Lucas Pisa. Grazie. Thanks, Luca. Thank you. Luca, uh, talking about the talk yesterday, you said that you guys had a really big South Bank game on the Calgary Flames. Talk about that game. I don't think that was big. I mean, we weren't too happy with uh, the result against Anaheim. Um, you know, losing at home against a divisional rival, being shut out. Um, I think the big part of that loss was we weren't hungry enough um, in front of that. We didn't get it in those dirty areas where you know we scored those rebound goals, or you know you got to screen the goalie that way. And we worked on it the next day, and uh, I think it was night and day. Um, Calgary get a lot of traffic. The goalie didn't see pucks. Um, we got to those hard, tough areas. And, uh, we got rewarded with the big win. Talk about the contributions of Ryan Carpenter. Uh, the guy's been unreal. Um, you know, it wasn't easy for him. He came, he, he didn't play for about a month. Um, and when he got the call to be in the lineup, I think he's made the best of it. Um, the guy plays the right way, um, you know, offensively, defensively. Um, he battles hard, competes hard. Um, it's hard to play against. So it's, it's nice to have a guy like that on the team. Tonight you're playing against the Vancouver Canucks, a team that you played with. What were the like, memories that you had playing with the Vancouver I, I, guys? Good memories, you know. Uh, spent a good amount of time up there, three years. Uh, it's a good amount. Um, I made a lot of friends on and off the ice. Um, when, like, last night I went for dinner with a few guys to catch up with things. And uh, it's going to be a special game. I haven't, I haven't played against them. I mean, we, we had them in uh, preseason, then we played them once again, and uh, I was injured. So it's nice to finally get a chance to play against them. What's your Questions of the like Brock Wesser. Oh, the guy's crazy. Like, I mean, he came in late last year, played about 10 games, and you know, already then he scored like four or five goals. 
you know, like you can tell the guy who shoot the puck um, probably better than 95% of the players in the league is such a young player coming out of college. And that was something I, I remember from last year, but obviously, you know, he's already proved himself as being one of the best snipers in the league. So I'm happy for him. He's a good guy. He works hard. So it's going to be a challenge to, uh, to play against him. Thanks, Luca. Thanks.